What is up you guys, Haley and I are back at our local flea market. It is Labor Day weekend, absolutely beautiful morning sky. And another beautiful sight is that there are a lot of vendors out there here today. Are. So let's go. We're gonna take our wagon and see if we can load it up with stuff that we can buy pretty cheap and then flip online for a profit. Cool. Hey, how's it going, man? Cool. Colt, yeah. Now it's football season, I'm to get too good. Mm -hmm. Super joy. Well, it should be a good day. We've got a lot of football games coming on, so it's cool. Yeah, we're excited. This is a really cool REI bag. Oh, yeah, that is really nice. <laughs> back to back. Which one for that? Just 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah, we'll do that. What is back this? Is this Hokies? Yeah, Virginia Tech. Yeah. That's kind of cool. She's got, hmm? she's got three bag of leaves. Three bag of leaves? Yeah. yeah. Well, that one. Oh, that's water. I thought that was scuffs. It's just, yeah, it's just dewy. Yeah, we'll probably do all those. Charlotte, I picked that up uh, last weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Somebody, I mean, we could probably find a buyer for it, but... Virginia Tech makes it a little challenging. Yeah, challenge, if it was a bigger school, you know, yeah. like Georgia, something like that. But you got in all these all these bags. You got three bagalinis. $3 a piece or two for five, so you got 10 15 18 Here, I'll, I'll give you 20 How about that? That's, perfect, that's, that's fair. That REI is pretty nice. Good. Thanks as always, buddy. Thanks, man. Appreciate you guys. Good luck. We got a little coffee here. Oh, it's embroidered. Yeah. This? Look at this little Eminem where I'm um, playing the saxophone here. Well, that's cute. <laughs> Does it work? Does he work? Oh, he's just. No, he's yeah. got a battery. Thing. I get out so early in the morning. No, they don't do batteries. Oh, no. This just, is just, like a. Oh, it's Eminem. a dispenser. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. What you want for this bag? Two. Two dollars. I don't know if that's a brand or what, but it seems it seems interesting. It's two dollars for it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and put this up since we pay for that. Oh, this is one of the little uh, fur reel friends. Is that what that is? Yeah, remember we sold that recently. Oh. Not for a lot, but. Oh wow. That's cool. <laughs> what do you want for him? Eight. And this one? Three. And Among Us. Do two for five on those. Right? Two for five. Eight. Let's do the Among Us over there. Okay. The Spider Girl in the back. What, this one? Yeah, that's the one you pull her arm and she kicks. Yes. <gasps> oh. oh, that's cool. Yeah. Here I am. That's cool. I'm not afraid of you. These are awesome. Whales are fertile, too. That one's not a squish. We'll get him too. All right, so all these. One, two, three. Eight, ten. So we have six of the six of the small ones and then this guy. Twenty-three. Is it twenty-three? Yeah. Two for five. There you go. Yeah. If I had, I think I might be out of ones already. Thanks. Do you have any change for a ten? I do. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. All Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Thank you. Enjoy. Yep. Have a good one. Put you one on the crossbow. It breaks down like a shotgun. I've never seen one like that, but I've never seen a baby dove. I know they're out there. I got five arrows to go with it. And the tips cost fourteen eighty eight and the arrows ten about a hundred and ten because that one ain't got a good tip on it. I take a hundred and six, but you can make me better off and I'd probably take it if you got right there. Hundred and fifty. Oh, I'm gonna ask another stuff for motor body because I really want yeah. two fifty for it. I tell you one thing. That's the perfect that. weapon to have in a zombie you apocalypse. Don't buy that out. It's two fifty soon as you walk on sword of God. I understand. I don't need it that bad. Thank you though. <laughs> The small ones are six each, and the big one is eight. What do you think? Uh, these are all Stranger Things? Yeah, uh, like no, uh, or most, most, most of, them. of them are Stranger Things. I had the whole Stranger Things collection. Yeah. And um, I've sold I've sold quite a few of them so far. Yeah. But I have uh, another box of other ones, of other characters in the house. It's just my 20, security system. 21. It'd be 128 for all of them. Um, did you do 110 for everything? I'm actually, I can't do that. Like, what I'm selling at is literally one dollar more than what I paid for everything. Trunko pops like, are just tough. Like, I don't, I don't, we could probably get six or seven, eight dollars a piece. After fees, we'd be breaking even. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thanks, man. What's this? DVD recorder and VCR. What are you on for this? Oh, uh, yeah, but. Do you have a remote with it? Of course not. Of <laughs> course. I do, but it's at home in my garage. I don't know you get a lot of good. Uh, that's fine. I just figured I'd ask. I'll do 10 bucks on this stuff. Okay. Take a chance on that. All right. What's the 
You know, Commonwealth Picker might want some yeah. Tupperware. Oh, you got lids in there? Yes, lids are all. Should we, should we buy it just as an ode to Kevin? Everything has lids. We got the green bowl. Yes. Green strainer. Got the I set just, of bowl here. Yeah. I, don't I look know. at that and I'm just like, I'm just not interested. Oh, come on. Be adventurous for a change. I know it. I know it. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. All that. Everything. Um, if they had a V, I would get this. I have. Or an uh, HT. Hey, what's up, man? I have an R and an A. R and an A. R and an A. I, just, I don't need an R or an A. R or an A. R or an A. I'll take it. R and A. R or an A. R or an A. Yeah. What do you want for it? $20. That's a little old. It's made in USA. I think I used to have one of those. I'll do, I'll do 20 on that. That's cool. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Pull this golf bag. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. Made in USA. I don't know what. Um, I don't think it's really about the brand. I think it's, I mean, the brand is hot, hot too, hot something. It's more about the style. Yeah, more about the style. Is this a studio? Quanto cuesta? 20. 20. Yes. Hmm. That is really interesting. Let's make sure all the zippers work. I don't even know what the pattern is. Like, what is this stuff? It's like war metals. <laughs> Some scissors. And the 20 is just a little. We'll come back by later and see if she still has it. Oh, she does have an Akushnet putter in there. Akushnet is. Titleist before it was Titleist. So it was a cushion at first and then they changed their name to Titleist. I did not know that. Yep. Learn something every day. Two. Squish balls. Oh, she got an Eevee, a Poplio. Oh, yeah. Where's the, oh, and the, um, the, um, Jigglypuff? Yes, that one. And a Yoshi. Okay, can we get all of this? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How much is this? Uh, 15. 15? You know, one of the we're, think, we're thinking about it. Okay. I need 15 that one too. 15 on that? Okay, 15 on the golf bag. So this and that golf bag are 15. How much for the Pokemon? That one? Yeah. Uh, 10. 10? And then the blue one? 10. Let me, let me see. I just want to see the tag okay. here. Oh, Build a Bear Eevee. Tag on that one. No tag. That's the cool though. All right. Let me move out. <laughs> you just count on your head as we go through. We'll get those two. This one is fine. Find something. Okay. Fifteen. Uh, this is fifteen. Fifteen. Well, ten. Because ten. ten more. Okay. So, um, quince, veinticinco, treinta y cinco. 30, 45, 55, 55, 60, 60, 60, 60, 70. 70. Okay, so five for those four, three? Yes. Okay. So 70. So 100. 100 for everything? Oh, it's yeah, 85 and then 100 for the golf bag. Okay. Yeah, 100? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> what is it? Oh, golf balls. Oh. I'll go ahead and pay you that. Okay. Let me look at these balls. Oh, those are good. What do you want for those? 10. 10. 10 with these? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. It's kind of cool. What do you want for that? Oh, bad bucks. What about the Kate Spade bag here? Uh, Seven, ten. Yeah. You got a five dollar bill on you. 
Awesome. Thank you so much. So we've come to the car to put everything in here to get ready for round two. And Haley asked me why I bought this VCR because we haven't bought VCRs in a while. But I took a chance. This is a Samsung DVD recorder VCR. So I think you can like put a VHS tape in there and then like hit this button or whatever and then record to DVD. There are 32 currently listed and used condition. I mean, there's one with the manual and cords and remote for $237. So let's go see how many have actually sold. Hopefully it's more than 32. 45. So over 100% sell through rate, $77 plus shipping, $135 plus shipping, 76 free shipping, 119. So I think it's good. Okay, but usually what happens with VCRs <laughs> is that they sit in our death pile for like a year. So Josh is going to have to list, list I'm gonna, this. I'll list and, it today. I'll, okay, test, I'll okay. test, test it and list it today. There's a firewood. Firewood for sale. Sell. For sale. If you guys are still watching today's video and you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It really means a lot. It's totally free and it just notifies you about when we post videos in the future. What you want for the little R2-D2 thing back there? Uh, I five bucks on it, man. The R2-D2 thing is worth five bucks. It's just like a little storage container. It's older though because it's Lucasfilm. It's, um, just the shipping on it. It's on the applause tag. I'll do five for the R2-D2 guy. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, thanks, man. Thank you. You get that one and then yeah. the Scooby. It's Three got a little stain, but... Three dollars a piece. That stain should come out. Let's see what else we can get for three bucks. Oh, this is a light-up. It's a light-up light Christmas, Christmas hat. Trying to find one more to see if they do like four for ten. I think a little Ferrari. That's kind of cool. Those four for ten? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Five, six, cool. seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, those are really cool. It's New York City, size 15, Ghost 12. The size 15 is what's getting me here. 25. There you go. Thank you, Dom. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Pretty decent. Shannon, is this your table too? Uh huh. What you want for the on clouds here? The uppers are in really good shape. The bottoms are just a little worn. Right there. Yeah, they're a little worn. All right, here's my here's my offer: thirty-five for the on clouds, and we get these three books in the Simba for free. Because <laughs> I was gonna offer you thirty on the on the on clouds, so I was like, let me just see if I can get five dollars worth of stuff added on. Go ahead. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have a bag for this. That's fine. Okay. We've given up on bags. Okay. <laughs> we buy too much stuff to worry about bags. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. So for our first time back out at the flea market in a couple weeks, I think we did really well. This really nice REI backpack is probably worth like $40 to $50. It's actually a, like a duffel bag backpack combo. Duffel bag on this side, backpack on the other. I might keep that for personal use. If not, Again, maybe 40, 50 bucks on that one. I got this other bag from Zoe's mom. I cannot find the brand. It just says version 3.0. I've looked in all the pockets. Like it, it feels like a very well-made bag, but if anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Obviously the Jigglypuff is good. I don't think these are on Pokemon tags or if they are, they've been cut off like you can see there. Uh, but still, I think that's an easy, at least 15, maybe $20 over on whatnot. I did take a chance on this Kate Spade bag for only $10. I mean, it's not, in the best condition there's a couple of wear spots here and there a couple little spots on the handle but i don't know i just thought maybe we could get it cleaned up and maybe get 25 30 bucks for it i think we ended up paying 15 dollars for this tool uh backpack which isn't terrible i mean i think we can get about 30 dollars for it but it was part of the big bundle buy we did with all the plush speaking of plush they're all falling down i think we got three of these star wars guys a squishmallow pale the yoshi yeah, the yoshi is on the super mario tag so that's probably like an easy 20, 25 bucks there. Oh, this little, uh, I called it a messenger bag, but it's more like a briefcase, I think. It does have a couple little wear spots so like along the strap here, but I'm pretty sure this bag retailed for like 350 bucks or something crazy like that. I put a comp on the screen in the video, I believe. Just gotta hit it with a little bit of leather conditioner and should make it look pretty good. And I think we can maybe get about a hundred bucks for it. We grabbed three of these Bagalini purses from our friend Zoe. Bagalini is a brand of like travel bags or something. We usually get about 15 to $18 for these. So that's 18 times three, pretty good. I think we paid like two bucks a piece on those. And when it comes to plush, I know some of them can be tough to sell, especially when you're paying $10 a piece for some of these bigger ones. But 
Uh, we always look for like recognizable characters. Pokemon usually do really well. Squishmallows that are cute and in good condition do well for us. I'm not sure if this one was on a Pokemon tag originally. The tag has been cut on this one as well, but Populi was a cute little Pokemon, maybe 15, 20 bucks on him. This Flareon is very, very good though. If you guys remember from the compliment video, I think we should be able to get about 60 bucks for this one over on eBay. So that made me feel a lot better about paying so much for some of these plushes. The Squishmallows, again, just very cute. I think that's like a tangerine or something, a little watermelon, a little neon, I don't know, poison dart frog or something. Some more Star Wars guys. Oh, this was the whale, the fur reel, fur reel friends whale that talks. I don't know if all fur reels are good or bad. We've only sold one or two in the past. And they, they have usually done okay for us. I think we've sold this exact Spider-Girl figure for like, I don't know, 15 bucks or so. Again, nothing majorly valuable other than the Flareon, but plushes are usually pretty easy to sell. Got a little bag of hats, nothing too crazy there. A little Simba plush in the books. Like I said in the video, I was going to offer Shannon $30 for these on clouds, but I thought from her perspective, it would be just the same as if I asked her to throw in like $5 worth of stuff. So I think we can sell this lot of books on whatnot for maybe like $10 and this symbol on whatnot for maybe $5 to $8 or something like that, which would be more money for us than just buying the shoes if we offered her $30. Does that make sense? Hopefully. <laughs> the shoes are in pretty good condition, especially the uppers, a little bit of wear to the bottoms, but I still think we could probably get about 60, maybe $65 for those. These are a men's 10 and a half. And then these New York City Marathon Brooks Ghost 12s, really good condition. Got a little confetti on the, <laughs> on the bottom down there, but uh, men's size 15, that's another reason we got these. There's an unlisted, None sold in this particular size. We might throw these up for like 75 bucks or so and just wait for the right buyer to come along. I think we paid 25 for those. This is nothing under there. So the last thing is the R2-D2. I think this is a cookie jar. It's made of plastic, I thought, so it's not like a ceramic cookie jar, but still pretty cool. Five bucks on that. What is it actually worth? I don't know. I mean, I think stuff like this is perfect to sell and whatnot. It's just a super recognizable character and it may not be worth a ton of... <laughs> It may not be worth a ton of money, but I think it'd be pretty easy to get at least 15, maybe $20 for it or something like that. And there we have it, folks. A nice flea market haul for Labor Day weekend. I, was, I wasn't disappointed, but last Labor Day weekend last year was very good. I don't remember exactly what we found, but I remember there were a lot more vendors there. Today it seemed a little... A little sparse in my opinion. I think I'm gonna round out today's video by showing you guys the absolute nightmare that is our warehouse currently, because we did the Goodwill Mystery Palette in our last video. We still have all that stuff. This is a mixture of stuff that either needs to go to the dump or be redonated. We gotta take care of the big cardboard box that came with the palette. We've got two whatnot shows over there that have already been done. We just have to ship them. And that's like a total of, I don't know, like 120 items or something that needs to be shipped. We've got all this stuff. This is like a mixture of good stuff from the mystery palette and like other stuff that we need to sell. Need to sell all the clothing on that rack. There's confetti everywhere because we <laughs> set off two confetti cannons in our last whatnot show. It was fun and I think it was worth it, but now there's a lot of cleaning to do. I think this video is going to be posting on the Sunday of Labor Day weekend. So if you watch it in time, the following day, the Monday of Labor Day weekend, uh, I think we are going to do a pretty big whatnot auction, kind of like a liquidation style type dealio so we can just get some of these boxes fill them up with whatever you see you want around the warehouse and just start it at a dollar and whatever it sells for it sells for we are at the place in our reselling business where it's time to go out with the old and in with the new we're leaving summer getting into fall and we just need some more space honestly i mean we have this really nice warehouse and yeah it's not quite optimized fully i mean we have a lot of wasted space in here but we also have a lot of stuff and we just need to move it out for whatever price we can get for it. So if you want to tune into that, that would be awesome. Link down below to sign up for Whatnot. You get $15 off your first purchase if you haven't used Whatnot before. Most of you have anything you'd like to say to everyone? <laughs> that was a burp, just in case you guys were unaware. Also, another kind of useless announcement, but I, I, I have fun with it, so I want to share it with you guys. Like, like 10 years ago, I used to paint a lot, like painting on canvas. And we went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. I was like, Haley, I want to get back into painting again. So I bought some paint supplies and I started painting Pokemon. Look at this little Charmander. The light hitting his big bald head. I will say that I haven't really figured out how to paint fire yet. That was kind of challenging, but everything else, I'm really happy with how he, how he turned out. He's very cute. And I really like these small canvases like this too. They're like five by seven or I don't know. It's just not a lot of surface area. So you can paint quickly without having to use a lot of paint and kind of experiment with different things. So pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to eventually paint all the Pokemon, I think. I've painted three so far, so 
Stay tuned if you want to see more Pokemon paintings. Look at this moth. That thing is huge. Hey buddy, are you stuck? I don't know. Okay, you're good. I think he was stuck in the crack. I don't know what to do with you. Where do you live? Moses, check this out. Come here, look at that. Look at that thing. <laughs> See you later, buddy. <laughs> and you know how I know that summer is ending and we're getting into fall because it's like 63 degrees outside right now. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. And look at all these freaking leaves. It was li literally, it's literally fall. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed it, definitely hit the like button. And if you've made it this far in the video and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, I would encourage you to do that. Again, it's totally free, really helps us out a ton. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on the next one. Whew.